It's after work hours. I'm sorry. You can't just go yet. That's not for you to decide. Feng Yin may be in trouble. What kind of trouble? You don't know? What is it? He... Um... What about him? If you haven't decided yet whether to tell me or not, maybe you should think about it first and then you can get back to me. No, 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 it's about last night. He made a very serious mistake. What kind of mistake? It has something to do with a woman. How do you know that? A woman complained about him. Who did she complain to? Gu Jie. Gu Jie? Gu Jie is in a very tight spot right now. Hey, 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 hey! You can't go to see and her And why now. is it that I can't talk to her? Because she told me to keep it a secret. She told you so you could go and tell everyone else about it. How's that possible? She made me swear not to tell anyone else. That's her escape clause for any rumor mongering. Hey, 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 you still can't see her, huh? Because if you do, you'd be throwing me under the bus. She will never trust Remember, me again. Remember, she doesn't trust you to start with. You should go and talk to Feng Yin. Convince him to resign. What was that? This is the only way to save everyone from the embarrassment and keep our reputation. Did she ask you to tell me this idea? No, no. The woman went to her and told Gu Jie what happened. This is the best solution that Gu Jie could come up with. Gu Jie told her not to make things public. She'll give her some money for settlement and then ask Feng Yin to resign. Gu Jie asked for my honest opinion. I agreed that this is the best way out of this problem. Listen, if that woman persists, we all know our reputation and Feng Yin's will be ruined. And as we all know, Feng Yin is a very decent person. It's not possible. And I say anything is possible. We all have our weaknesses. Decent people can still make mistakes, huh? And maybe he lost his head for a tell moment. Tell me where to find this woman. I'm going to go and have a talk Gu with her. Gu Jie refused to tell me. She refused? Then there has to be a small problem. No, it totally makes sense. She's trying to protect the woman's privacy, right? It's not something you announce to everyone. I don't believe it. I don't believe Gu Jie. I don't believe a single word that comes out of her mouth. You can't believe Feng Yin completely. This story couldn't have come out of nowhere. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, wait, calm down. Where are you going? Lu Bin! Is there something urgent? Here's the thing. I just had a talk with Liu Jin's housekeeper. She said she's willing to testify, but she has one condition. She wants some money as compensation. No way. We can't offer her money. That's the definition of tampering with a witness. Go and think of something else. But she's going to lose her job if she testifies for us. And we can't give her compensation. Of course she's going to have concerns, and that makes her unwilling to testify. Hello? Call me when you turn on your phone. We need to talk. <sighs> so you told Luo Bin? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I should not blame you. Thank you. How's the woman doing? She's doing fine for now, but she asked Feng Yin to pay for what he did. Her request is reasonable. I can understand that. But he's only human, and humans make mistakes. Can't she just let it go if Feng Yin apologizes? Let's pretend that the victim here was your sister, insulted by someone else. And the perp says to you, 
I'm only human, I make mistakes. I sincerely apologize, so let bygones be bygones. Would you be willing to accept those terms? But why would Fungin commit such a serious mistake? We should take responsibility for our mistakes. Luo Bin doesn't believe it. That's not it at all. He doesn't want to believe it because he knows if Feng Yin is punished, Luo Bin's happy days are all over. What if Feng Yin doesn't admit it? Then I will have to immediately call a meeting among the senior partners. I'll present the issue and I'll have to let everyone know about it. Feng Yin has to give us a full explanation for what happened that night. Oh, and by the way, I have very special privileges at Chunjing. But I've never had to use that power before now. As a co-founder of the firm, Feng Yin and I have an agreement. He's the acting director, and I can promote anyone I want to senior partner without having to get anyone's consent. This special privilege can only be used once, so I've been prudent about it. Do you mean you're actually going to exercise your special privilege now? Yes, that is my plan. And you? I think you should have been promoted to senior partner long before now. You're very capable at your job. You do charity and have lots of experience in managerial skills. Your reputation in managing the paralegals and the interns is known to everyone. <laughs> I've never used this privilege before now because I really think that you can get the promotion by following the law firm's normal procedures. But I was very surprised when Feng Yin denied your application. But what if Feng Yin tries to deny the promotion this time again? One, we don't need his permission. And two, pretty soon he's not going to be the managing partner of Chunjing Law Firm. At the next senior partners meeting that we're having, aside from announcing your promotion to a senior partner level, there's one more issue. And that is to present to the partners a proposal to have a revote of a brand new managing partner. Are you trying to say that you want me to vote for you? <laughs> well, gratitude is a great virtue. Hey, but you know, I'm not asking for you to return the favor at all. I hope you don't get me wrong. I understand. This is for the good of Twenjing Law Firm. Hey, what a coincidence. Not at all. I came here to see you. Tell me, what's going on with you? If I tell you, you have to keep it a secret for me. Tell me. They found something wrong in my last checkup. The doctor said to get checked again. What was wrong with it? Did you get checked again? Yes, I did. Waiting for the results. Ha! <laughs> Maybe I'm worried about nothing. A false alarm. You never turn off your mobile phone. I went to bed early last night. The battery died. Is it urgent? If there's a problem, you can come to my house. Let's go. Gujia said a woman complained about you. Did she handle it? <laughs>